Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're going to be talking about is how to set up your stand-up paddle board for fishing. Uh, it's really fun. If you haven't, uh, you know, if you haven't done it, uh, you can really stealth right in. There's a lot of pros to it because you're standing up high so you can see the fish better. So it's pretty fun. Um, can be expensive, but I'm going to show you the poor man's version uh, that I have here uh, getting it all set up. So let's go ahead and talk about fishing from a stand-up paddle board. All right. Well, here's my old paddle board. This thing is 13 feet long. You can tell I beat the beat the poo out of it here over the years. It's got probably an extra 10 pounds of fiberglass on it now, but it's basically just a real thick platform. This is certainly not a paddle board that you're going to go surfing with. Um, you know, the, the guy that shapes all my surfboards down in Deerfield Beach, he, uh, I, I told him, I go, look, I'm not going to surf on this. I want something that if I could put, wanted to just go explore and fish off of with a case of beer on the front of it, that I'd be fine. And this is what he came up with. So it's really great. Uh, this, this, uh, this paddle board. Uh, it's a great white is the um, is the foam blank that he used, but it's perfect. I've had a c couple people on this thing. Uh, no problem. Floats very stable. Anyways, it's it, it's uh, you know, so you got to decide what paddle board you want. Right. But what I want to show you is really the basics. All you need. All you need is a cooler. Obviously, you need your 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 paddle and this is an adjustable paddle in case you want to let one of your friends uh, use your board. They're only like a hundred bucks for these um, adjustable ones. Obviously you got fishing poles you're going to need, but your main tool is going to be your cooler. So I've taken some real cheap uh, things from uh, Home Depot, right? Here's, here's just some U brackets. These are made out of PVC. Just get them right into the side of your, uh, of your cooler. Yeah, they're, they're maybe 25 cents a piece. So you get these things, they're great for putting your, you know, there's my, my D hooker in this one. You tie whatever you want to this. You know, just having places to go ahead and tie stuff off. Uh, here's just an eye bolt right here, just an eye screw. Put that in there, make sure it's not so uh, long that it pokes through to the inside. Uh, filled it with caulk all around there so you don't have to worry about that. And caulk is, is almost like, you know, super glue once you get it in there. Another piece of PVC, some more uh, plastic uh, U-brackets. You know, these are, uh, I don't know what these are. They might be stainless, I don't know. You pay a little bit extra more, pay a little bit more for them so you don't have to worry about uh, replace them all the time. But you know, so there's, there's a, a rod holder. And I got another rod holder here in the back, same deal. So it can hold two rods and now I just want to show you what's actually inside of the cooler. So we look in here, you know, it fits a lot of stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what's in here so you can see how much you can actually fit into one of these coolers. Uh, so you don't have to take a bunch of trips when you're going out fishing. Cause the idea is to be able to carry your, your board, your rods and your paddle on the one trip and be able to carry your, uh, cooler full of stuff on the next trip. But here we go, you know, so you got to have a tackle box in here. Take that out. Let me just show you around because I'm going to do a little fishing trip here, even though it's kind of rainy today. Just so you know, I'm not lying. So I'm going to pull all this out and you're going to see how much stuff is actually in there. All right. So all of this stuff you see right here was inside this cooler. The cooler's empty. Well, there's an old shirt down there, but cooler's empty. So here's everything to fit in there. You got your got your tackle box full, plenty of lures, plenty of hard baits, you know, safety equipment stuff in case you get hassled. Everything you need, right? Normal little teeny tackle box. Homemade uh, fish stringer. All I did was take a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, drill a hole in it. This is my fish stringer because the other one rusted out and I didn't feel like paying two dollars. 
I told you it was the poor man's version, right? Got a leash. This is just off of one of my uh, surfboards, one of my short boards. Yeah, just swap it back and forth so, so you're attached to your board because the last thing you want to do is fall off this thing for some reason. Um, you know, and have this <laughs> have this board take off without you. You know, say say you had a fish in the uh, you know uh, in one of your rod holders on your cooler, and you fall off, and next thing you know, there's a tarpon pulling your uh, your paddleboard out to the wild blue yonder. Yeah, you know, just some um, you know what do you call that stuff? Sunblock. Of course. Yeah, everyone needs a paddle. That one in the cooler. You got apples, right? I like apples. A couple backup uh, liters. There's 30. What is that? 50. Knife. If you're gonna catch sharks, these things are great. They work really well to get that hook out of the shark's mouth without getting your, uh, you know, your hands anywhere close. Got water. These are just biscuits I was going to fill with peanut butter and jelly. Got a bunch of backup soft plastics. There's some gulps in here. There's some paddle tails. There's all kinds of different things in there. Just some backup plastics that you're going to need. And here's my system with, the, um, with my anchor. So it's basically a quick release system. So this piece of PVC, you just slide it right into. Here, let me show you. You slide it into one of your tie downs, right? You slide it in there like that, and then you just, for a quick release, if you have a big tarpon or something on it, you need to go chase down. Um, you know, you have all these ties everywhere, so you can, even if you're anchored up, so you're fishing dead bait on the bottom or whatever you're doing, uh, you can just drop your anchor real quick. And here's just one of those uh, water weenies or whatever they're called, these floaty things that you get at Walmart. So you just drop your anchor, Go get your fish and come back. And another thing, just the cooler itself. You know, one of my buddies gave me this. Everyone's stepping up to these expensive coolers, these Yetis and Ingles and Frigid Rigid, all these $400, you know, $500 coolers. So everyone's giving their old coolers away. This thing is great. This thing probably cost 40 bucks years ago. It's super strong. I, I can stand on it and I weigh 215 pounds. It's just a Rubbermaid or whatever it is, but there's a lot of coolers out there that people are going to give you for free. So, you know, a free cooler plus uh, $3, $4 worth of hardware when you figure out all these U-brackets and everything like that. And you got yourself an awesome stand-up paddleboard for fishing. It's really fun. I'm telling you, do it. Uh, I, you, you know, I like fishing off, off the kayaks too, but... I like also being able to stand up real high and I, I've been surfing my whole life so I guess I'm kind of used to it uh, as far as standing up. Some people aren't very comfortable standing up on a stand up paddleboard like that and catching a fish where you're off balance and things like that. I am so you know there's pros and cons to each. There's pros and cons to a stand up paddleboard for fishing off of and there's pros and cons to uh, the kayak fishing too. I like them both. I'm not saying one or the other. Uh, this when I'm in real skinny water like that I like to be up high so I can see the fish hopefully before they see me but um, yeah I just wanted to cover this just an easy setup you know once you get the board these boards are getting cheaper and cheaper too as long as you get these that are non-performance you know there's there's you know some with a V I mean I've seen some of them actually have a deep V like you know for going off of you know a mile or two offshore in the ocean uh, it, whatever works for you I, this is basically, if you really look at it, it's just a big log, big old chunk of foam covered in fiberglass. But that's all you need, really. You just need something to be able to get real skinny, right? You need to go out there and stealth up on your fish. And once you hook one, it's got to be stable enough where you don't fall off in the water. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of catching them anyways. But I just thought I should cover this one. Uh, I've, I keep noticing as I'm out there fishing more and more guys, fishing and gals, fishing with, uh, fishing with these stand-up paddle boards. So I figured it might be something people would be interested in. You can see more information about all the fishing you need. We have videos, how-to sections, where to, what to. We have it all right there. It's www.fishyourassoff.com. 
Uh, you can see this information and more. Whatever, you know, uh, it's probably on there if you have a question about fishing. But until next time, we'll see you then. I think that's it for today. Bye-bye.